Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to look at some data following yesterday's large 6.5 magnitude earthquake in central Idaho. I also have a video from a young lady that felt the earthquake in Missoula, which is a couple of hundred miles to the north. We're going to take a look at her video as she was just sitting in her house watching television when all of a sudden the chair she was sitting in began to sway side to side. She hopped up, realized it was an earthquake, walked over towards a wall where she could see the curtains moving. We're going to take a look at that video, which was 200 miles to the north of the epicenter of the earthquake, which is the same distance as Yellowstone from the epicenter of the earthquake. And if we look at Yellowstone seismos from yesterday, you can see they all picked up the earthquake quite easily. All of the red signatures you see on these seismographs are the 6.5 earthquake from yesterday. I want to look at the other seismos from around the actually the world and across the country. I have not updated this since yesterday. Once I click refresh, all of this data is going to change to right now. This is from yesterday, about 30 minutes after the earthquake. And I noticed something quite extraordinary on here that I wanted to share with you guys. And that's what I had here on my opening banner. This is a seismo from up in Greenland. And see the big spike in the energy? That's from yesterday's 6.5 earthquake, which was 3,000 miles away from the epicenter right there in central Idaho. We're going to look at some more. You can see a big spike in Michigan, big spike in Ohio. But if you look at Idaho itself, it wasn't so big. Look at that. It's like half the size of what was detected up in Michigan. Little if anything at all. And that's within 100 miles of the epicenter. If we go to New York, you can see a big spike. Alabama, big spike. Even over in Wyoming itself, very minimal, comparatively speaking, to what we're looking at in Alabama. Went way up north off the charts. Montana, you can see another one from uh, Montana right here. Energy was minimal compared to Pennsylvania, Minnesota, and even out here in Arizona. We didn't feel it, but the seismos are engineered to detect ground movement, and that's exactly what they did. They did their job, but it was detected on this seismo out here in Arizona very, very early. Here's the one from Greenland, 3,000 miles away. The energy is much stronger than it was, even in Idaho, and looks like it had more longevity. 3,000 miles away, that one's from Greenland, Here's one 3,500 miles away off the coast of South America, Barbados. Look at that. Look how strong that is. And it was even longer than the one in Montana on the seismo and the one in Idaho. Here's the one in South Dakota I've been talking about. Look at that. Looks like a, a smaller earthquake. It doesn't even look like the same earthquake compared to the energy they're seeing in Barbados, which is 3,500 miles away. This seismograph here is 750 miles away. You wouldn't think it was the same earthquake. Here's one here from Montana, 200 miles away, which is the same distance that we're going to see a video from that was shared with me yesterday from Missoula, Montana. They felt the earthquake up there. Sheila was in her house and actually felt the earthquake. But I found that very interesting that the seismographs 3,000 miles away showed much more of an energy signature than the ones that were right there in the backyard, right near the epicenter of the earthquake. Now I'm going to go ahead and refresh this now. I've been waiting to do the video and watch it all change. See how the, the energy now looks different? But I wanted to save those moments because I knew once I refreshed it, it would go to a totally different look, and it did. Um, you can see the energy starting to leave the graph as we're moving forward in time. It's been almost 20, 24 hours since the earthquake occurred. But it was very interesting to me to find those signatures much stronger thousands of miles away from the actual epicenter of the earthquake. And speaking of the epicenter, this was a video sent in by Sheila, 200 miles north, due north basically, from the epicenter of the earthquake. And Yellowstone is 200 miles to the east of the epicenter. So both places actually felt the earthquake, um, especially the seismos at Yellowstone. And Sheila sent this in, sitting in her living room. Check this out. She said we're having an earthquake. Here, check it out. Okay. See the curtain sway? Plant movie? Oh my gosh, weird. 
So she felt the earthquake sitting in her chair, and you could see the curtains here swaying back and forth. This was right as the earthquake occurred. So that's more than likely the same type of energy that was felt over at the Yellowstone Seismos at the super volcano Caldera. Energy went rolling through the top of the volcano and probably the bottom too and everywhere else in between. But I found it quite fascinating that Seismos 3,000 miles away, 3,500 miles away, even way down into Brazil, registered much stronger signatures than they did right next door. Very, very fascinating. I've got some new sky phenomena. This is out of Florida. Same sky observed by two different people, one from Palm Coast and one from Ormond Beach. And I actually found this on satellite. This was sent in by Melly H. March 29th of 2020, notice this big, huge wall up in the sky. Look at that. And she was on the back of a motorcycle and did some phenomenal camera work recording this big, what looks like a, a shelf cloud up in the sky, but it's a bright, sunny day. This is from Ormond Beach. Young lady by the name of Denise from Palm Coast noticed the same exact cloud structure on the same exact day at nearly the same exact time. So I went to a satellite to see if I could confirm what they saw, and I did. I actually found this cloud from space. They were viewing it from A1A down here on the east coast of Florida. I found it from satellite. This is Denise from Palm Coast. She had the presence of mind to look up, notice that very unique cloud, and see the sharp contrast from all blue skies to solid white clouds. She found that interesting, and, and so do I. I would have been taking pictures and, and video, too. In fact, I've got some that I took today of, of a unique sky I'm going to share in this video. But I found this on satellite. I went to Zoom Earth, and I went to the 29th. In fact, it was the same day, but I had to wait for the information to upload. Went to Florida, went to Florida's east coast, and sure enough, there was the cloud structure from space spanning east and west. So here we have Palm Coast. Here we have Ormond Beach, same exact cloud, just a different location. They were about 20 miles apart, maybe 25 at best. Right there is where they were, and here is the cloud structure from space. Melly was here, Denise was here, and they were both photographing the same exact cloud. That's from March 29th of 2020, the exact same time that they were taking the photos from the ground. This instrument was taking photos from space, and you can see a shadow being cast on the ground and on the Atlantic Ocean. You don't see these very often, but they have become more commonplace over the last year or two. Very sharp contrast, almost looks like a, a blanket up in the sky. This appears to be some sort of a, a unique phenomena that's occurring in different places around the world. We've seen them extend from the southern hemisphere clear up into the northern hemisphere. So great observation by Melly and Denise out of Florida. I took this photo today of yet another very colorful sky. This was right out here in Arizona in the proximity of the sun. Look at those vivid colors. And I adjusted this very, very minimal. The colors were there. Like this is a video right here. That's what it looked like in the sky for a brief moment. And then some white clouds moved in. The colors were just bright and vivid. And they were like that for the better part of 20 to 30 minutes. I've got some more pictures that I'm going to share in my next video that's got a, a much longer sky phenomena picture slideshow of pictures that have been sent in from you guys from all around the world. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.